Uzbekistan. Not to be confused with Afghanistan, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, or any of those other stands. It's a country located in the Middle East, and another one of these stands. Its capital city is Tashkent, which is the most populated city in Central Asia at around 2,909,000 individuals as of 2022. Plus, the language used in Uzbekistan is called Uzbek, very original. The people of Uzbekistan do lots of wondrous things, including several holidays such as Turunalari, which is the music festival that takes place every year from the 21st to the 31st of August, where local and international people from all over the world come to experience this festival. Uzbekistan is 172,742 square miles of judgment calls. It's also known for mosques, mausoleums, and producing cotton. Nothing raw and unprocessed here. Social services include free healthcare, unemployment allowances, social security, and more. Uzi Backrack's imports include motor vehicles, packaged medicaments, wheat, and refined petroleum. While their top exports are gold, non-retail pure cotton yard, petroleum gas, refined copper, and ethylene polymers. They get their imports from places such as the United Kingdom, Russia, China, Gobble, Kyrgyzstan, and Kazakhstan. POPULATION! Here's a shot as of 2022! Stop it fast since he is! 71! Years of days quite long! It's a turn right to lie, kick the trend! Yes! Immigration is high! So high! Cruisers raid and the truth is red! Yeah, there's 19 births and 5 deaths per 1,000 people, and there's about 1,179,000 citizens who have migrated to Uzbekistan. Which, similarly to the age demographic, it shows how the population is increasing with new children and migrants. Despite all the wonderful things about under Basilistan, it is still considered a developing country due to the capita per income being around $460. That's not a lot at all. However, there is hope that Ulalastan can still become a developed country, since aside from the civilian income, it's still a decently economic country in terms of medicine and trades, plus all the special events. I mean, you got like China and like the United Kingdom, like, uh, like yeah, imports, you know, you, you know, you just get the US in there and like, boom, developed country. But what about population change? Well, several solutions to manage the changing population include increased housing, education, and more job opportunities, because increased housing can give more people proper homes, and job opportunities can help them in gaining an income and influencing the economy. While education on common subjects and certain subjects will give younger generations a brighter future and more information on the world around them. With their education, they can help their country and expand their knowledge in benefiting all of mankind so we can reach for the stars and achieve heaven!